welcome to Chicks with Crits. I am Caitlin Play, your Iron Mesh, your amazing and spectacular rogue. And with us today is Cheyenne, our cheery dungeon master. Hello. Joining us as well is Megan, our charismatic paladin, Keo. Blessings be. Joining us is our Rudy Druid Baracas, played by Alicia. Hello. And last but not least is our dramatic Druid, played by Akila. Red. Just a little bit. And welcome to Chick with Chris, everyone! Yes! I broke my door. Yes, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> so, last night. No secret meetings. <laughs> Oh, come on! I was Bring excited! It's being fixed! It's fine! <laughs> I Not love like you! you. <laughs> hey, like, sorry, our DM was a little shock. Um, continue, Cheyenne. But yeah, so, last night, that was kind of dramatic. After going to the Lord's house, yeah, you guys kind of found out that um, Iron Mesh might have some connections with the theft and possible kidnapping of the Lord's son. Um, when Red found out, she told Kia, uh, not Kia, oh my fucking god, she told Iron Mesh to go and fix, fix it. it. And Iron Mesh was more than happy to, I say happy, <laughs> eager to go. <laughs> And figure out what was going on, which led to a few strange discoveries, which eventually led back to going back to the inn, which led to running into a certain druid who had his own nightly activities going on, which resulted in more spying at the mansion, and eventually running back to tell everyone that they needed a secret meeting in the middle of the night. After finally being Some subdued, rogue you are <laughs> stealthy, right? After being subdued, all of you were and smashing my door. Yeah, after smashing through Red's door and such. I'm letting it go. <laughs> you do it one time. No, I was happy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you bet she does it again. Anyone? <laughs> She already tried. No, no, right? You did try, but finally, after being subdued by Keo and Orison, you were brought to a room and you finally fell asleep. Iron Mesh and Red, you were brought to a uh, door. Keo's <laughs> room. Keo, you've gone out back and recreated the door, fixed it all, Barakas. You've Made it managed more to sleep. Prettier. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Make a dexterity throw for me to see how gorgeous this door truly is. 18. 18. It is a truly beautiful door, and that's what you think as you're standing out in the back alley in the in, in the wee hours of the dawn now. You've been out there for a few hours. You're fully rested. You slept earlier. I now um, take the door inside to fix it upon its hinges. It's still a little bit early in the morning for that yet. But be, it's slowly better bringing inside it inside. Than outside. Yeah, and, and the rest of you finally are arresting. Orison's in his room crying, cursing Roger's name. <laughs> in the distance. You guys can actually hear like from another room like a child crying in his mother's arms. <laughs> you inflicted absolute chaos. <laughs> inside and outside. Of the trusty bear in. She says we, but it wasn't we. I feel sad because I hear the soft weeping of the child. So what I do is I try to tinker a small toy out of the rest of the wood. Is this man not perfect? <laughs> you want machine, to, dear. Machine. You want to make Even a better. toy. There's not much. Like a pulley ducky. Like one of the wooden pulley duckies. It's basic carpentry. Do you carpentry. have artisan tools? If you do, I'll let you make a pulley ducky. <laughs> pulley ducky. I don't think I wrote down. 
Mm-hmm. Add I, it in your other sheets there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, give me a second. Steel had quite a few water cuttings there. No, I don't have any. Dang it. No, you won't be able to make something as delicate as the ducky. You made you you managed to make the door, but no, for the rest of the m- m- late night, early morning. Then I must atone for my companion's faults. You've already done the door. What do you plan on doing? Hmm. I'm going to make him some pancakes. Wait, <laughs> wait. The machine that can't eat, never eat, doesn't even know that you're supposed to eat. Is gonna try to cook. So you've decided you're gonna go into the kitchen to make some pancakes. I have witnessed that like, cooks do this on multiple accounts, and I have read the recipes. Make a history check. All right. It's not going to end well. <laughs> there is no way. Watching cooking is not helping. Oh, really watch 15. <laughs> 15. You remember back into the royal kitchens a long time ago. Back to... There's a sour taste. If you could, there's a sour feeling as you remember back to Pierre, the the royal chef, him making pancakes for his own children and well Maybe the missing we don't make princess. pancakes like Pierre. I'll no no. Cannibalism is a no no. But Pierre you, was a cannibal. He's the one who planned to cook the children. You remember, and serve them in pies. No. We're not doing that. No. I forsake the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> With those sad memories, you walk away, and the fire, and do, do, there's no one awake now, or anything. I kind of feel like I need to do something, so I'm going to tidy up a bit. And, yeah, and you see there's like a broom in the corner, and, and you just begin to tidy for the rest of the morning. But soon, dawn arises, and, um... You, Kyo, you hear, um, was it some footsteps and stuff? And actually, it's coming from the kitchen. It seems like the chefs from yesterday are finally awake. I forsake the kitchen. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, Kyo, you hear, you know, like some slight voices and rustling now coming from the kitchen. You hear like like a like a high shrill female voice it's like there is no more meat or any more food or anything, and then you hear like a cat yowling like. Ah, it's like Careful of my tail! I knock on the door. Do you require me? Do you require some aid? Uh, the the half orc uh comes to the door and he opens it. He's like, oh, hello. I was like, no, no, we don't need any aid. None from the guests. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Everything will be okay. I'm, Nothing will be okay. I'm here to help. That is my job. I'm here to help. Oh no, we can't ask like the guests to like to help or anything. But if you want to help, there's a board. It's over in like the corner in the in the back. If you want to check that out, if you're really looking for help, I will. Gives oh. you like a thumbs up and uh, smiles. I'm uh, there's also a door that I uh, got smashed in the middle of the night. I fixed it and it's like right here. Oh, well, all right then. I guess when people start waking up, you can put the door back, but. It might be like another hour or so. We're just getting complimentary back to start it, so. Right, I'm Anything to eat, bro? Uh, I do not eat. Thank you. Okay. So, I choose to believe that. I, Wink. Well, because his mouth doesn't open when he talks, kind of a hint. I choose to believe that. Wink. <laughs> Are you coming on to me? Are you coming on to me? There's like an awkward moment, and then you hear like a hiss in the background. Stop it! Help me! Finish I, the breakfast! I look at him. Your treats. And gently caress his face. Gently put my hand on his shoulder. Your treats. And I walk away. And he just drags back into the kitchen by his tabaxi companion. <laughs> and yeah, so there's a, apparently a notice board in the back of the tavern that he was more than happy to point out to you. I go and I check for any thingies. Alright, make a perception check. I saw your sleeping face iron mesh. Yeah, well, you don't have exactly a relaxing face when you're choked the fuck out. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, you don't. He deserved it. Perception? I got 16. You said perception, right? Yeah. 16. In the early morning light, you're able to make it out. 
Um, on the board, there's a, a few postings that seem for jobs. Um, number one, looking for babysitters to watch 12 children. And underneath it says, O.W., who lives in the shoe. Uh, aside from that, there is a, a construction company. They are looking for some sticks, straws, and bricks. And they are the 3P Construction Company. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, um, wanted uh, breadcrumbs for cartography. That one looks like it's read, uh, written down by, like, a child. And then I take um, the one with the that looks like it's not written by a child. This may be a little alarming. I and then the, word. Um, the there's a, a fourth one. I wanted any information on the forest arsonist. And then there's a fifth forest arsonist. Wanted hunters to find forest monster. Look for Marcus. It says underneath. I take that one because I think this one might. Uh, might require some aid. There's a person going around burning down forests. And as you're saying that, you actually hear footsteps in uh, Orison. He's uh, coming down from upstairs, and he looks like he has had a terrible night after all the crazy shit that's been happening. I bid him welcome. Does he notice that the thing is more cleaner than he left? Let's see if he notices. Or the beautifully uh, handcrafted door. He notices the door, actually. He's like, oh, what the hell? Oh, did you make this? I only require four hours of sleep. And he just kind of nods. Okay. I will attach it to the one that uh, my companion broke. I apologize. You know what? I'll accept that. All right. Now I go back to sit. Oh, I just <laughs> go back and sit down in my chair waiting for more people to wake up. So it's... Aragmash wakes up now. <laughs> I always wake up early in the morning for my exercises. Yeah, and with like a horrifying gasp. <laughs> you me. You've come back to consciousness. I would like to roll to see if I hear that because I have to go on a tire. So I tied her up. But yeah, yeah, sure. I'm tied up. Oh my god. Yeah. That's some into some real kinky stuff. Yeah, no kidding. Can I wake up soon? Yeah, Barkus is probably 13. waking up pretty quick. Thirteen, yeah, you hear like a, a horrifying gasp upstairs. I walk up quickly and promptly. And you guys are waking up right now? I'm guessing so. Barkus usually wakes up in circles under her eyes. <laughs> yeah, sad. you were able to get a full rest, but sadly, yeah, you're still kind of tired. When Keo walks in, I'm in the sexiest because I can think of being tied up. <laughs> so, so this is a short alarm in a weird S shape. Yeah, pretty much. So this is what you're into while I'm unconscious, taking advantage of a beautiful woman. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This thinks she's going to try and get out of the door. I'd like you to make a stealth check at disadvantage. <laughs> I don't know if it's a disadvantage, but she's in that room. Yeah, but you're tired of shit. True. Oh, oh, this is the funniest stealth check I've ever done. Um, give me a second. I think it's just a straight plus four for me, because it's under dex, right? Mm. So, yeah, it's under dex. So that means, because they're pretty much the same number, I got a nine. A nine. As you begin to, like, make your way out, there's, like, a loud creak as you step on a board, and Kyo quickly sticks his head out the door and waves. <laughs> and Barkas, yeah. Good morning, Red. Don't oh. worry, I'll take care of uh, everything. Good. Oh, will you now? Oh. Bolt. You start running up downstairs. <laughs> As you go downstairs, beware! Apparently, there's a forest person who's going and setting fires in the woods. Door to the inn. Close. You've run out to the street. Get downstairs. Oh, All right. You that's released. Oh, I hand Barakas the the thing I got off the board about the fire ar the forest arsonist. You, 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 you wake her as I go back to untying uh, Iron Mesh and scolding her because she broke other people's Are property. You going to spank me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I I tried to spank, spank you, I would have I would actually end up paralyzing you. Oh, so it's a good time then. <laughs> but yeah, Barakas, you've been handed over a note, and it says wanted hunters to find forest monster. Find Marcus. Stop cock blocking me! <laughs> you scream that to the heavens. 
flesh me nail. The DM, the DM keeps changing the subject. Stop cock blocking me. <laughs> what are you trying to achieve? I am literally <laughs> nothing down there. A single dust smoke floats from like a ray of light and it lands in your eye. Now your eye is super itchy. <laughs> the death, the DM has spoken. DM rocks the world. <laughs> you have to, you have to do the funny voice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a horrible hell scene is going on. <laughs> I finish untying Iron Mesh and I just leave. Wait, I built you an attachment! <laughs> when? Do that? When? <laughs> this, is, this is Meg and Akio. When? You know what? If there was a chair in the room, you kicked out the chair leg. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Good. I, I, I'm not going to use it because I don't want to give you splinters. <laughs> I sanded it down. Hey, I get to point this out. If you actually go to the museum for it, a sex museum, there is a wooden dildo. Still not going to use it. Goes downstairs. Several, actually, I think there was. Yeah. I just remember right. seeing the one. Before uh, they made out of glass. It was I grab the door and I take it upstairs. Oh, I got perverted this episode. <laughs> <laughs> just this one, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure about that? No, I think, I think There's a perverted. But yeah, you and uh, uh, Iron Mesh and Fire Cost, are you guys going to head downstairs for breakfast? I guess so. I suppose. And as you guys are doing that, Keo, you grab the door and you're going to replace it? Yeah. Alright, I'd like you to make a, maybe a sleight of hand to see how delicate you are putting it together? I guess um, just dexterity, yeah, to see how good you are putting. So make a dexterity check for me. So I got fifteen. Fifteen doesn't. It doesn't take too long, but you're able to put the door up. And uh, iron mesh. Yes. <laughs> Barakah. <laughs> you two sit down at a table, and um, actually, uh, you see like the tabaxi from earlier, the the chef, and and, and the. The or half work as well. They're bringing out some food to like a large table, eggs, some some bacon, some porridge, and, and stuff for for free breakfast for the people who stay at the inn. And then chides yeah. you terrified. Orison is out there pouring out juice and coffee for anyone who's awake. There's do you, you see? There's like a few angry looking people kind of glaring your way. Iron Mesh specifically. I'm completely oblivious. Ran out of the inn. And actually, Red, yeah, we're going to go to you, so you've just run out of the inn. What do you plan to do today? I actually have to do some shopping for particular items, for spells, as well as for a couple things that I would like to get. You want to head out shopping, okay? Yeah. I need to go to the herbalist as well. Well, right now, it's still rather early morning, so you don't know. It also gives me a chance to look around town and locate a few areas, see what I see around town, you know, like find the poor areas, find, you know, more run down, you know, get an actual feel for this town that is apparently a lot larger than it should have been to me. Thirteen years different. <clears throat> yep. All right, so actually I'd like you to make a... Yeah. A wise one, maybe? A perception see. check, pretty much. Just to figure out where people are coming and going right now. Like I said, she's also looking for like where the poor guys are. Ah. Uh, perception, you said? Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, so twenty two. Yeah, as you're stepping out and walking through the streets, you notice that there's a burn down building just down the street. It seems that it must have burned down last night. You have a vague memory of hearing people screaming in the night and such. And yeah, there's some people. No, it was actually pretty close. There's, it was a bar that was pretty close. You're kind of in like the more touristy. Uh, maybe not touristy. So main, so main, the main part of the main road. Yeah, yeah this is pretty much like where district. like the That's inns it. are and the bars. Yeah. The main arsonist. arsonist. And such. But yeah, you actually like begin to hear murmurs of like as you walk by you hear murmurs of actually, yeah. Of for uh, of of an arsonist. And you hear like the soft whispers of people. I thought that he was only in the woods. I knew that he was getting closer. 
but I never thought that he would come to town. If they found a corpse among the pile or, or whatever, but as you continue walking by, you, you start to see more and more people that are going up. And you see there seems to be like a steady stream towards, like a one street, it's off to like the, the left. It might be the market, it seems like. And so that's where you're headed. And as you're walking down the street, you see there's a, a few people, they've gotten like a, what is it, fi a fresh fish, and... And then she flies like as though she's doing her usual thing, and she keeps her head is always up when she's in public. Okay, your head is up, alright. It's, yeah. it's always up when she's in public. Her arms will still be probably showing, because she's not hot, right? Or cold, I mean, you know? Yeah. But it, it's her own mental, she kind of needs it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and there's not too many people out just yet, it just seems to be like the early shoppers and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe some other shop owners or innkeepers trying to get some more stock for the day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you notice, there's like people pulling out, like there's like some fresh fish or fresh fruit and stuff. And a few people, they're waving down at you, wanting to see if you'll buy their, like their fresh food. A lot of seasonings. I need to stop there. <laughs> and actually, you do see there's like a, there seems to be a small shop where they have, you know, some spices and stuff out. Like sparkling chai child wanders over. All right, and 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 um, as you go over there, there's actually there's a a short uh, halfling woman with a nice warm smile on her face. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Would you like to buy any of my spices? I am short on pretty much every other species of fossil in this right now. Oh, okay, awesome! This will be amazing. I can get you. Well, feel free to smell any of them that you want. I have some nice rare ones as well. Like, well, I'm gonna probably go through all of them. <laughs> Please take your time. Just a big smile on her face. And, and actually, we're gonna go back to the inn. It's probably gonna spend a good hour with these faces. She's a never break with all of them. Yeah, we head back to the inn, and I assume what is a bar cost and iron mesh you guys are. Enjoying your breakfast. I grabbed a chunk of meat and I left to go to the markets to see an alchemist or a herbalist. You've left? Alright. And what about you, Iron Mesh? What are you planning on doing? Exercising. She needs her morning routine. Your morning routine. You want her legs atrophy again. Yep. So can't skip leg day. Now, are you going to go upstairs and do this in your room or are you going to do it down in like the common area? Oh yeah, she has her abs still to get back. In front of everyone. That's right. I went down to a six pack, didn't I? Yeah. Yes, you did. Yes. Instead From of your eight old pack. eight pack. You should go to the forest and power lift the boulders. <laughs> but no one's there to all of her in immediate beautiful Just imagine strength. the fact that she'll come in, boom! Leg muscles rippling, abs glistening. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go to the forest. In front of the people, you know? Hello. How many goliaths will she attract in one night? And actually, as you think that, yeah, I'm going to go back to the forest. Um, it took you about a day and a half to, to get out of the forest, the cursed forest, now. And, hmm. You Is might, there a small park in the city? Absolutely there would be a small I'm gonna park go to, in the I'm going to go to the small park. All right, and uh, Keo, what are you doing? Are you going to follow gonna, your friends? Or? I'm going to go to a blacksmith because I need to get my helper fixed. Okay, that, that so we got of, some shopping going on. Did you leave with Barakas? Uh, I left the exact time, uh, around the same time as Barakas left, but I think we went two different Probably directions. Probably would go different directions. Yeah. Because Barakas doesn't like me. Barakas right? Doesn't nowhere? Like, sorry, nowhere doesn't like anyone. And I put some Barakas. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, it seems you guys seem to be headed in the same direction. I'd like you both to make perception checks as you're leaving. That's a sign of friendship! 21. Uh, what was I rolling again? Perception. 18. 18, yeah. As the two of you are walking by the burnt out wreckage of the bar. Oh, as we go by that, I'm gonna get some coal from the burnt remains. Of what, the building or the body? <laughs> Body's probably Either works. <laughs> I need some coal or some pitch. Yeah, you know, just dance there. Forest arsonist. And I walk. 
<laughs> yeah, and, and actually, as you say that, um, one of the guys kind of stops and looks at you. It's like, yeah, right? It's got to be him. Like... I saw the notice in the tavern. That is just Should I be horrible. rolling for deception? If you want a deception? To, like, keep a straight face. Because we're talking no, about... I, th- I, th- I, th- I, I think it's hard being... for you. You know, actually, no, yeah, roll for deception. Not really, but... It's kind of one of those to play the oblivious part. Yeah. Deception. So, yeah, 19. Yeah, you're you're kind of, like, smiling, and you, and you notice Akio's talking about, like, the arsonist that was brought up, and you just, like, kind of nod along, and... Yeah, totally, it's like... I know it's like the dudes be getting like closer and stuff, but like, what the hell, man? Well, I'm, I'll I'm be in the joining. City? Yeah, I'll be joining uh the. I'll be looking into joining the hunters to stop them. But in the meantime, could you please point me to the nearest blacksmith? I have uh my weapon needs to be fixed. <clears throat> oh yeah, you'll want to just go down like the street and off to like the left or whatever, and you'll find the blacksmith there. All right. Most of the market, left or right, that's like the market street over there. Yeah, so All enjoy right. your day. Thank you. <sighs> I just kind of sighs looking at the bar. I just realized that I just, I, I did something bad. I left him with Barakos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he yeah, doesn't think so fast. <laughs> no, I do. I'm like, oh shit, I just left him in the maws of you. But yeah, no, there's a few people like that are going through the wreckage right now. But yeah, yeah, and you, and you overheard all of the that talk about the forest arsonist, how he got into town last yeah. night, which you, of course, know that's not true. <laughs> and if you want to make a sleight of hand check, you can quickly grab some of the sleight of coal hand. or ashes. Yeah, sleight of hand is a plus two, so that's 18. 18, yeah. You you just quickly walk by and shove your hand in and grab what you need and walk on by. There's a lot of people picking through the remains right now, so it's... And then I'll stop and pass it by to ask, ask for directions to the nearest herbalist or alchemist. Yeah, and, and and they point you down towards Market Street. Yeah. I guess I'll follow my nose once I'm in Market Street. <laughs> and as you get there, you see a familiar hood in, like, the distance going through some kind of spice thing. Let's see, what do I need? Are, do any of them count the spices? Ah, uh, the rumor. Okay, I have to go to the spice shop. All right, yeah, sure. You you head on over there and you see it red is something you use in cooking. Yeah, just like I'm trying to. I don't think this is the list. Though. I think the uh, dry if you dry the farm to actually the spice. spice. Well, it's just like I just need like dried or fresh because I just have to powder it, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like I would. Ha- I have a more. Yeah. Like they probably even have. Them. I'm guessing since it's a spice shop, they probably have a dry. Yeah. Which would be perfect uh, for you're my. Are talking case. about mistletoe? No. Oh, no, sure. That's yeah. me. That's one of the things. We I have to go to a herbalist. Yeah, that, yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, it's poison. It's poison. <laughs> yeah, as so you 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 approach the stand and you see the, the happy little the halfling saleswoman staring at Red and Red going through and sniffing various jars of. She's of probably around. amassing a nice little baby from the herbal. <laughs> I lightly cough to get the shopkeeper's attention. She happily turns towards you. Oh, hello. Good morning. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like to buy? Do you have any rhubarb leaf? Any rhubarb? You know, I think I do. Um, would you like it fresh or dried or how? Dried. Would you? Some dried. Yeah, sure. I can go and get you some. And like, she quickly turns around and runs back in her shop. How much would you like? A pound. A pound? Yes. Okay, for sure. And and she like comes back and yeah, you know, holding like a nice like little package and and all that. This will run you about uh, we'll say two gold for 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 all of this. Yes, <laughs> big smiling face. Thank you very much. Is there anything else that you need? Um, I think I have to go to other places for the rest on my list. Okay, well, uh, with other kinds of places, I might be able to point you to a good one. Alchemist and herbalist. Oh, there's a herbalist just across the street, and as for an alchemist, a little bit farther down. Thank you. Be much better. And she turns her attention back to Red. I nod at Red as I go away. <laughs> Let's put this way. Even Barakos can see the twinkle in Red's eye as she's like, oh, Lydia, <laughs> so what would you like to get? Oh, Red's gonna probably pick out, like, you know, a bunch of the usual seasonings and 
Yeah, and, and and she helps you like getting in like a nice neat little little pouches. Yeah, but of course, like, such. at most she's aiming for is like you know everything that's a little like within her affordability range. Yeah, of like a few or, like some of the, some of the basics and yeah. stuff and. There might be a couple little specialties in there, but nothing that's going to be like, oh, there goes all my gold. Yeah, and and actually in the end, she's like, it'll cost you about five gold for all of it together, since you're buying so much. That's her. Okay. Some of those. And is there any other places you need to go? That's right. Well, I think maybe a herbal shop might be the best bet for me. Just down the street a little bit more. Oh, that's the alchemist. The oh. herbalist is across the street. Right, now just across the street is the herbalist. Just another question. Yes. Where can I find a rather large cauldron? <laughs> I'd say maybe the general store might have some cauldrons. Thank you. First herbalist shop. <laughs> Things I absolutely need first. And, uh, Barker, so you headed to the herbalist shop yes. right now, too? And uh, we'll actually go back to Iron Mesh, who's like happily burst through the door out into the out into the street again. I'd like you to make a perception check. What are you rolling for there? Gold. I never rolled for gold. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. You notice the burned out building and and all of that, but uh. And you notice there seems to be like a, a couple guards, like just like standing like uh, around. There'd be more than half. One of them kind of looks at you. Oh. You actually see Doth is standing there. He's like, hey! He like waves you down. What's going you on? The big small face. Hey! Get Hello! Nice. How are you today? A lot better. I'm not fired. Just, ah, just I just have to stay at the gate for the most part. I'm just, I was just getting breakfast and heading to my post. How are you doing, lady? Oh, I'm doing good. Good for my morning exercises. Oh, I'm very nice. Oh, yeah. That's going to be great. Well, you're going to be doing your exercises. I was wondering if you knew where a small park might be. A small park? Um, there's one, actually, if you follow me to the gate, I can point you down towards one. There's one kind of, like, in the east. If you just follow, like, one of the roads. Sure, there. that would be lovely. That would be very lovely. I mean, like, happily, like, yeah. begins to walk beside you, strutting away in. Yeah, and he eventually takes you back to, like, the front gate, and you point to it. So you need to go down um, to the right. If you keep falling, like, along the wall, you'll eventually find, like, a blue house, and from there you turn, like, into, like, the left, and the, it'll just lead you straight to the park. So just turn left at the blue house. Okay, thank you very much. I pat him on the head. Have a nice day. And he, like, winks at you. Big smile on his face. Uh-huh. I love the dwarf. <laughs> Start walking down. I get to the blue house. I go right. <laughs> there's a there's a giant wall. I walk into the Around the, the city, first. just without thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, and then I go left. And, yeah, and you just keep walking. Eventually, yeah, there is, like, a, a small park there. Just a nice little clearing. There's, some, like, some bushes. You see that there's like a small group of school children with backpacks on. They're like quickly walking through, headed off to school. It's rather quaint. All right, I find a nice clearing. It's doing something where I'm not hitting you. I'm not hitting you with here. Lanes are here. No, we're good. <laughs> yeah, no, you find a nice like clear space, and actually you see there's like a small like older gentleman like kind of like enters the park as well, and he goes to another clear space, pulls out a yoga mat, and is getting ready to do some morning, some Tell morning sense. yoga. <laughs> yeah. I start doing hardcore burpees, <laughs> and then every time I do the jump up part, I go yeah. <laughs> Every single time, loudly. I'd like you to make a performance check as you're going hardcore. I'm you know natural 20. 20. I think it's still 20. <laughs> that is first well, no, it's, a, it's a 13, then I get a plus 5, plus a plus 2. Jesus. So they actually made 18 then. Either way, it's high. Either way, yeah. Like, you notice, like, the old man is kind of stuck. And he's kind of looking at you and he's like, yeah, and he's getting kind of pumped up, and he kind of goes over and joins you. And actually, you notice there's like a couple like 
like all, all, all like uh, yes, like older, like young and younger, like women, they're coming in and they have like all their yoga mats and they see you and like this old yoga man is like doing burpees with you and without even realizing, you're suddenly like leading like an athletics class in the park. Let's go, people! Come on, keep it up, just breathe. Let's go. You learn. Feel the burn in your calves. <laughs> you screech that as that they're trying to pull. It's like, yeah, we can do it. And then, <laughs> and uh, Keo, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to you. You're in your search for the blacksmith. <laughs> All right. And yeah, and you actually see there's like, it's a rather like large looking shop and there's, you know, like a giant like iron, a uh, hammer going over a anvil and all that and you knock on the door. Uh-huh. All right. And actually a dragonborn, a green dragonborn, like opens the door. It's like, hello and welcome. Greetings and salutations, mighty dragonborn. Well, hello there. Metal man? And he's like staring at you awe in his eyes. <laughs> Please welcome, come in. Oh, thank you. I You, my friend, are absolutely stunning. Oh, such flattery. Thank you. How may I help you today? I go I well, I have a piece that needs some uh fixing. Oh, let me see. So I take out my my tied together <laughs> makeshift bundle of my halberd. Oh yeah, that's snapped clear in half. How did you manage that? <laughs> um, I may have. I took a tumble. I took a tumble and I broke it. I can understand. Well, you know, you're my first customer of the day. If you, you know what, I can definitely take care of this. But you know, I got to ask, and this might seem very rude, but can I draw you? <laughs> it's just <laughs> staring deeply at you. Very well. I will accept her. I will take five gold for fixing this and getting to draw you. I hand him five gold. He happily now, takes it. Now, would you like me with uh, my make uh, my uh, thing on or off? Off if you don't mind. <laughs> I take it off. It's just nothing but armor. So oh, I yeah, have no shame. He has no genitals. He has nothing. Oh, wait. He does have bolts. No, I don't. There's I do not no. have bolt nipples. Bolt <laughs> 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 nipples. Do you know how badly that that would just like rub against fabric? I was yeah. in so many shirts, so no. No bolt nipples. Fine, just move them out a bit and you no, only in, only if I ever get turned into a mermaid, instead of the, nah, uh, clamshell bra, I'll get the bolt shell bra. That works. Yeah, that is the works. only way I will let you ha handle your sick, sick fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one who drew it. Okay, your okay. sick, sick fantasies, Iron Mesh. <laughs> hey, they're fantasies. For <laughs> they're fantasies. Fantasies for fantasies. Anyway, continuing. And as this sound is uh, nowhere killing several fairies, aka nowhere is sneezing like an adorable li li little bunny rabbit. Fuck you! <laughs> uh, let's say an aggressive bunny rabbit. He goes back here. Fuck you! <laughs> Inner child, <laughs> Inner child, nowhere. Fuck you! <laughs> anyways, for for it seems to be the next few hours, you're left alone with the dragonborn drawing you and periodically stopping to help put your halberd back together. And back in uh, back in town, Barakas and uh, Red, you're now at the herbalist shop. Looking to see if they have any mistletoe. And there's a rather surly looking dwarf there. You want some mistletoe there? Okay. I can find it. <laughs> I need some more mistletoe as well. Uh, so much mistletoe. And uh, elf fruit. <laughs> Elf roots. <laughs> you know Barakas. He just looks at you and kind of nods, all right. <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> I got what you want. Got my back, bro? I got your back. 
Thankfully, we've legalized it recently, so I can give Oh, I was going name. a different way. A couple hours later, Barakas comes out all sweaty. The smell of lust and shame upon his beard. <laughs> I'm not visiting no brothel. This is a herbalism shop, Megan. This is professional. Hey, they got what ails you. It, it, it just means that they, they can make you the, the good tea. <laughs> but yeah, he... Right. Had, Lust and shame. But yeah, the surly looking dwarf, he invites you both inside. And, and yeah, and he's he's got the mistletoe. He happily pulls it down for you. So is this like a bundle deal or something? He's just kind of looking at both of you. Like, oh, we'll probably be buying a fair bit, so might as well. All right, and then I'll go get the elf fruit. And he like goes like in the back. And <laughs> as that happens, he like has a peculiar smell as he like looks into the back. Two minutes later, comes back out and is like, yeah, here you go. Got you, buddy. He, like, winks. Much appreciated, pal. All right, for, you know, for, for, for all of y'all, we'll say five gold, since you're buying so much of it. Is there anything else that you guys need while you're here? We put it from the herbalist. It's the only other thing I actually need to have is sand. Like, I just need to get an adder's stomach and bat fur. And you said, do, 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 do you tell them that that's the stuff that you need? Yeah, I might actually pick up just like a few things if you know for your cooking or wise. You've already gotten. Yeah, they got seasonings. You've got some dandelions. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff that you don't but yeah, get you, from seasonings. You right. mentioned, okay, yeah, so you mentioned like some cooking herbs and pellets. There's like, I got a nice like little like set here. Got like a little cooking pot and spatula and it comes with like a nice little thing of like herbs as well. Yeah. Looking for that. Oh, we're only about ten gold. He's got all the no, no, I equipment. Just, I just need the herbs. I already have the equipment. Okay, well, if you just need the herbs, if you get them in the glass jar, it's going to be more. But I can get you, like, a nice little pouch. I, this, uh, yeah, if you want some cooking herbs, all right, I'll run you another three gold. That's fine with me. Yeah, here I go. And he's <laughs> just plain little bags. And such, and you, you're looking for some more magic, you're looking for some magic supplies. Yeah, you do want to go, there is an alchemist shop. They'll have more than, than what you need. Down the road, correct. Yeah. Um, tell them Devin sent you. Yeah. Devin. And, and, and he winks. Devin. Yeah. He's the other guy who works here. Everyone likes him more. <laughs> Something, I don't know. I find you funny. Huh? Something about him being sexy. <laughs> and with that, he, like, walks away back out to the front. To to look for more customers to bring in. It's just like I'm just gonna take my part of the bushel of mistletoe, and I'm go I'm going to continue mine. Um, I'm going to the alchemist. <laughs> tell me how that turns out for you. <laughs> also, I'm kind of concerned about the dwarf's taste now. <clears throat> Yeah, and actually, Barakas, you, you you head on down to the alchemist shop, and it looks a little bit, it looks slightly run down. There's like a giant, uh, like sign, some kind of vegetable. You think it looks maybe slightly turnip-like? You don't know. But um, as you walk into the shop, you notice a uh, a a slightly creepy looking elven woman is standing there, and she like quickly turns towards you. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Hello. I was sent here by a Devon to get some supplies. Oh, dear God. I'm already married. Tell the dwarf to fuck off with the Devon. You're not my type. The, no, no. You're not even the right gender. That's what the dwarf's trying to do. He's an asshole, doesn't like my husband. Whatever, what do you need? I need fur from a bat and stomach from an adder. Uh, I think I can get you all that. And she, like, quickly, like, runs back. And back up. You hear, like, stuff, like, falling over. And you hear, like, another voice in the background. <laughs> What's going on? And actually, like, the door opens and there's a rather strange-looking man standing there. You feel slightly uncomfortable, though, in his presence. That one. That one feels uncomfortable. Yes. Holy shit, I need to meet this man. Yes, you do. And you're, like, kind of staring at him. He's kind of, like, staring at you. You want the bat fur and the outer stomach. Yes. 
he sets it down on the counter. He doesn't like, isn't directly handing it to you. Just kind of standing up. Seven gold. And you hear like a voice from back. It's three. Seven. Three gold. Gold for intimidation. Intimidation. <laughs> Twenty-two. No, he kind of backs out fine. You have the three, but don't come back here. Why not? I can feel the stench on you. Demon. Oh, so it is a race thing. Yep. And then he walks back into the back, and then the elf woman comes back out. You see her, like, punch him in the arm. She's like, we want returning customers. <laughs> Dumbass. Well, I'll make sure to tell anyone I know to never come to the store. And I leave with my stuff. <sighs> She's got, like, size. And, yeah, so that you finally have your supplies. And, Red, you have everything that you need right now? I'm gonna go check out those cultures. Oh, yeah, at the general store. <laughs> yeah. There's a reasoning for this. DM knows it. Right. You kind of begin to wander around, and eventually you see... There's like a, it just, there is a sign, like general store for what you need. And yeah, so you're heading on inside there. And there, there's just like an older, like human man. Welcome to my store. Hello. I was told you might have some large cauldrons. I don't know about the largest, but cauldrons. And yeah, he kind of takes you like towards the, like to the back and, and you see there's more. Destined. Yeah, a little bit more destiny. You see, there's like a couple like Dutch ovens and like bigger pots, and there's like a it's, it's about just, there's one that's about one and a half foot, like like wide and around. It's it's not super large. That's one that you'd find like in a big kitchen, but it's it's pretty decent. So how much would that be? Oh, uh, about thirty gold. May I see it to know if it's any good quality? Might be a little bit dusty, but it's it's made pretty well, I would think. Yeah, if you want to inspect it, I guess investigation would be. Oh, yeah. She does know her cooking so <laughs> uh, Investigation? What's that? So, I got a 16. Aside from being slightly, you know, just a little bit dusty and stuff, it's actually a very good quality pot. And is it one I can lift or is that pink? With a little difficulty. I can still lift it. I mean, not for very long, but yeah, you could. You might need some help taking out of the store. Oh, I know someone who, who, who may, may be able to assist. So, uh, I'll be walking the streets already, so if you look out, you might be able to see me. You a deal. What else do you want to buy with it? I may need a ladle. It comes with one. Anything else particularly I could use? I'm trying to think of right now. There's, and of course, it comes with this stand. So you can hold it over the open fire, yeah. Nice one for your new home. Not exactly. But I will definitely take it. Um, since you said it comes with a label, it comes with a stand. I don't think I really need anything else. Would you like me to wrap this up for you, or would you like to wait for someone to come and help you? I'll go get the help. Alright, I'll take this, you know, back, uh, it's like, I'll, I'll get this. You, I'll give you part of the payment now, and when I come back, I'll give you the rest. I'll hold on to it for you. Just so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Alright then, so, mark off the 15 gold. Yes. And actually with that, we cut back to the park. I'd like you to make an athletics check. Please, okay, Iron Mesh. I also want to say, I want to do something. Twenty-four. Twenty-four? Yeah. You still got really good stamina and everything. How are her abs? They seem to be glistening. <gasps> sweat. And yeah, and everyone's following you around. Yeah, basically in the park, and I'm like, I just, I'm just screaming at everyone, like, we're here. Let's go, Jeff, let's go. Let's go. Ethel, just because you're eight doesn't mean you're dead. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! And the, and the thing is, the old man... <laughs> He's keeping up with you. He was obviously, like, the instructor. He's actually, like, keeping good time with you and everything, and everyone is... Some of them are slowly starting to fall off the... I'm assuming break she's and switched everything. a few, few positions by now. She's not... Oh, yeah. We've done three full workouts. 
Oh, absolutely. Like, and, uh, and, and actually the ladies are beginning to stop and like, and the old man, he gently like pats like your shoulders. Like, that was very good. It was very good. Um, are you a new instructor or something? Cause like, we normally come here, like normally I do the yoga, but like, no, I'm oh, just, just hanging out and then everyone seemed to be having a good time and I apologize if I took your position, but it seemed like it was an okay. And everyone's going to be enjoying themselves. Well, yeah, no, this is a free class. Like, holy damn. I'm trying to go to the other I'm park. I'm being and... a special guest for today then, but I don't can't promise I'll be here anymore. Well, thank you. And like, and they all like start clapping. There's like a small crowd of like, I do a huge oh, bow. Thank people. you for your time, everybody. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> You're just like super excited now. Now, excuse me, I have six more workouts for my usual daily routine that I need to finish. We will be more than happy to leave you to do that. And they all like quickly like leave. They're far too worn out. Like Ethel's like slowly with her walker trying to get away from you now as fast as possible. Uh, workout instructor <laughs> Iron Mesh is now my new favorite thing. Yep, I think we have a new keychain inspiring here. <sighs> Sorry, self-control. Oh my god. But, uh, Irish, is there anything else that you need to do right now? Oh no, I'm fine. Just do my workouts. It's continuing on, yeah, alright. And so, Keo, it, it, it's been a few hours now, and there's many wonderful drawings of you, and such that the Dragonborn is happily, like, created, and your halberd is now actually ready, so it is actually repaired. Alright, I ask him, thank you very much. I, oh, I'm very sorry, but I forgot to ask you your name. Kevin. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, uh, no, what is, what is your name, please? That is the first time anyone has ever asked me my name. I'm so sorry, I was just so taken with your amazingness. Thank you. My ac my full name is Keo Augustus Marcus Alphonse Azur. That was a wonderful name. <laughs> <coughs> you are very finely well made. Oh, yes, my creator was a fine dwarven lady by the name of Geppetto. Ooh, Geppetto. It took, she told me it took her two and a half years building every little thing on my body. You, you're built by Geppetto. And, like, and he looks at your talbert. You're, you're a royal guard! No one's seen any of you for years! What the hell? That's amazing. I just came into consciousness. I don't remember quite what happened. Well, well, part of me kind of remembers. I'm slowly trying to regain those memories back. Make a deception check, please. Oh, God, yeah. It's not really deception. It is. Considering, like, those couple of roll years for are... Deception. Roll for deception. It's, it's deception, right? Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, yeah, you can't lie. No. Honestly, don't lie or cheat, so... You want to be a little bit more clear with what's going on? All I remember is an ogre invasion. But other than that, my memory is a little askewed. Yeah, he kind of nods. That's... But I am trying, I'm trying to figure out the full story of what happened. Uh, do you know, like, any history of the past... 13 years? Like, anything weird? Well, yeah. concerning, like, Geppetto, they were, they worked for the king. They were, like, the captain of the guards. And yeah, and yes, she had a and my metal brothers. army. She disappeared after, like, during the war. Apparently she went to the front and All right. after that vanished. I thank him for uh, giving me the info that Geppetto was at the front. Yeah, he kind of like pats his shoulder. If I hear anything else, yeah, I'll be more than happy to let you know. Thank you, my kind sir. Remember, Kevin, I got your back. All right. And yeah, you have your halberd is restored. Yay! I lost my pencil. All right, so I take my halberd. I bid him a good day. In my case being, I own no And I would like to go to a general store. Here you begin to walk through the streets towards the general store, but um, Red, that's 
<laughs> yeah, red would have been and after I left because I was already. It, it, it would have been yeah. Barakas, you happen to notice red is coming out of the general store. Heading towards where this was about. Looking for that. <laughs> So, yep, so you two guys uh, managed to meet in the streets. I may need some assistance. What is this? Well, you all know I'm not exactly strong. And I may have bought something that I need moved. And you need help, I'm guessing. Yeah. Very well. Thank you. You guys quickly make your way back into the shop and... Yeah, and then I think he's just drifting <laughs> And the old man, he's got like kinda like waiting. He's actually like at the door, like with the with the pot now. Okay. And he's just like patiently waiting for you to come back. He's like, Oh, is this your friend? Yeah. Yes. Strange check is a natural twenty. You got a natural twenty unnatural. Unnatural twenty. And uh are you gonna help him carry it? I'm paying the man first. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no yeah, yeah, no, you're you paid the man now. So are you struggling? Do you need the help? Can roll the twenty. With the I'll line. probably carry like the smaller things. So I'm assuming it's not one package. It's probably like two. Yeah. And where would you like to bring this <laughs> back to the inn? Yes, for now, because I have to find the location. Da -da -da! Yeah, it location, takes you location, location. exactly. <laughs> it did. I haven't found the location yet. Yeah, if if red, if you don't help, well, what is it, Barakas? It takes you maybe about like almost twenty minutes to like slowly like walk it like back to the to the end because it's still pretty heavy even though you're able to carry it better than she can. Barakas says he needs help. I'll help him. Like how big is it? It's it's basically like it's about like two feet. Yeah, it's it's if you were to well, hug you would a be tree. able to. To wrap them the bottom. Yeah, it's yeah. still pretty it's heavy. It's still pretty heavy. Weakling. <laughs> she knows what she is. Yeah, it was about a foot and a half around. Away from yeah, that's what I figured. It. That's what I figured. Because, well, there's also the like I said, difference. I'd probably carry, like, the little bits extra. There's, there's a little stand and the ladle. I can probably carry those. So I'm assuming they're yeah. not as heavy as the box. So, so it takes a bit, but you're able to, to, to get it there. And, uh... And as you guys are walking by, what is it, Iron Mesh? Are you still working out in the in the park, going hardcore? Yes, I just completed my last workout. There's a bunch of children watching, very am amazed by my glory. There are, and they're like, "Oh my god, I want to be you when I grow up." So I signed some autographs. <laughs> they're a little bit confused, but they're like, "Okay." I signed some rocks for them. That that even button. even the plainest of rocks can be a magnificent gem on the inside. <laughs> and with that inspirational quote, the children ran away giggling happily. And then I go back to the inn for a delicious meal, for delicious lunch. All right, and, and, and noon is about when you were done with your drawings and your stuff as well. And and yeah, you guys have all pretty much gathered back at the inn. Red, see, Barakas seems to be holding like a cauldron. You're just gonna take it straight uh, to the right. I wanted to go to the general store. Oh, know. right, sorry, the the three of you have made it back for uh, for lunch. And uh, Keo, yeah, sorry, you wanted to go to a general store. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Keep on clucking. Clucking? Really? <laughs>